Age of Wonders, Planetfall, The Star Kings, and we're playing the Oathbound. We're going back to Nerim Library for a quest here. Then we have something to do with Aluna here. Still want to visit that settlement, the last last settlement, and then we have to start to secure them as well. And uh, first reaching, then securing. And we need to locate the source. We'll see if we can do that now. Uh, we have a couple of people marching around, also securing our new cities around here, especially. So there's going to be some action. Let's see if we can do that right now. And it seems like we can, but uh, I think we'll do that next round as we'll have some heal then. Operations available for priming. Let's go. Oh, the Dam Master produced Production the recreational ready. dome. Let's see how we manage its resources then. And that seems to be good. Yeah, we don't need that much happiness. In these new cities, I want to prefer growth and production mainly. Let's see what we'll do next. Uh, military infrastructure is definitely good. <coughs> and the agricultural exploitation also makes a lot of sense. After that, we could maybe add more infrastructure and botanical gardens. Just to keep this thing busy. It's a very good city, I think. We have researched some breakthroughs in gravitic containment and inertial dampening systems intended to facilitate increased cosmite production prove to have serendipitous applications in mass transit systems across a variety of terrains, allowing for more efficient transport across colonies where this technology is deployed. Dr. Axenik, Chief Researcher, Magtech Inc. Very sweet, and we get the Cosmite Research Center, which gives us five more Cosmite income when building the HQ, and I think we'll do that as soon as we can. The Diplomatic Analysis Wing, two more influence income in our HQ colony. So there's a lot to build there. Let's see. Uh, it has proven relatively effective after a short specialization to rather broaden the research. But happiness has always been something to go for. So let's let's see. This thing is is really really tempting. Like the residential sectors upgrade and stuff. We'll try that out. It's also a new thing for us. So we'll go for that. We have some orders required here, and I think we've healed a little bit at least. Yes. So let's go for the combat. Precognitions ready. People are moving in. Uh -huh. the reverse engineer. Have we? I think we have just had this exact map. Which is absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, I I think I've seen the exact map. <laughs> Hello, random number generator. What have you given me? Like an exact same encounter. Now, not e yeah, but uh, this part of it looks so similar. So let's see where we can go. And this would be a backup. So we'll put it into a backup position. Maybe like here. And see how far that goes yeah how is the yeah the cooldown is a little bit there so we'll do that next round and for this round we'll just go for the overwatch Tristan of course who is not so much in danger we'll just go for him a little bit here let's see can we reach these three we can now reach only two Oh, that's... it should be good enough. Let's launch an attack. 
The next Berlin Warden should be here. And we have an aspirant who should, could, maybe, yeah, I mean, they, they all get really some cover from the rocks there, so it's not too bad to go at least a little bit forward, like here. And we'll get some cover. And we have this here. Let's move behind a little bit. Can we go for... no. Mm, no defense mode. Inspiring. And the other Paladin Aspirant could maybe wait here. Get the shields up. Then the Watcher. Let's fly over with the Watcher. This is actually haunting me. What has happened there? It's so similar. Held an aspirant. Barden is moving in. Aspirant can go behind that thing. Very nice. Yeah, I just had to check if, if if my mind was tricking me. Now the difference to our other encounter that we have now, this tentacled monster here, the Ad Advanced Reverse Engineer, instead of um, some kind of psychic being, and so now... Hmm, Let's see what kind of difference that makes, because it were nearly the, the same mobs too. Oh, let's see. Creating something. Something undead. Hey! Don't shoot! What are they doing? They'll shoot as well, of course. Electrified. No, don't! Ah. Operations ready. So, everyone there is poisoned. I think we want to do something here. A good bombardment. I think we can move in once. Yeah, that's much better. Come on. Bring them down. Nice. So nice. Enemy annihilated. Wow. That was exceptional. See what we have here with the Paladin Aspirants. We could reach here. We could reach with the Vault Pike or with the Vault Blast. Hmm. Rather go for more combat first, maybe. Let's see. Can we? We can. We can. Can move a little bit forward too. Yeah, that seems nice. 40% good enough. Nice, a critical even. <laughs> Let's give them something to suffer. Three. Yeah, that's the maximum we can get in there. These guys are down. Yes. Enemy down. Very sweet. Can we shoot someone here? No. The Paladin Aspirant, though, could do something. Let's first see what we have available here. The Warden's Banner. We can go close here, too. Static charge. Yeah, why not? Let's go for this. It wasn't too bad, and I think we should have another one. This guy. The Warden's Banner. 
be able to move in here a bit. Maybe to this place. Uh, we had it. Here we go. So nice. Enemy eliminated. That damage. I think we should be able to go for that here as well now. Staggering, and we have our last one here. To do some significant banner damage. Excellent. The predicted outcome. Unit We find a crashed research ship. The remains of this research ship contain intact data pads. Unfortunately, they don't reveal any information about the vessel's mission and crew or the events that led to its crash landing. Well, I think pick your poison. There's a derelict power plant. No, that's that's a region we'll claim sooner or later. Maybe, maybe here. Soon, soon we can annex that. Where to go next? Um, there's a geothermal instability. Let's see. The Cosmite Spatial Rift. Is there some quest here available for us? Mm, here. Locating the source. That is something we could definitely do. So let's go closer. Let's go in more. We're in a good spot. I feel like this troop can can do something. What do we have here now? Mm, nothing so much. We need to get back to uh, the Nerim Library. Let's do that first with Aluna. And we need to stay there for a night, I think. receive a seer's um, message and then we'll go back and get rid of some of the growth here and at the same time deliver the the samples to the dwar there's this thing too that we need to target Ah, happiness and dam master. We've got knowledge. Happiness event in colony. Fifty research, nice. Decayed chains. Ever felt like your whole life was ruined? You just can't keep up because everything is falling apart. Sure, you might need to listen to happy songs, gaze at rainbows, and set more realistic goals. But more often than not, it's because there's an entropic radiation leak in the decay chains. Raiden Orspark, emitter technician. Yeah, very wise. Um. <laughs> Penance, the shield of remorse. That's kind of good. Ionic detachment. Ion flux charge. Hmm, it's not bad. The arc impact module. I like this because I like switching up my damage. Hmm. What do we have here? The champion ranks. The paladin champion. Would certainly be very good. Misfortune manipulation. And what a nice operation. Light mitigator. Yeah. Now let's try with that thing. I don't know exactly why I'm going for that admit. Let's see. There's something roaming around and I don't like that. I don't like that. We need to go for something in Nerim Library if we can. Let's see. Yeah, we need to get this going. The, the gardens and then mm, we need another Paladin Protector. That would be great. And 
a warden and an aspirant, I think. Here we go. No, we don't need the. Can we not put this down? Or we can only put some things up, but not down. I'm not sure how this. Okay, so we have to do it like this then. All right, that's fine. Um, so we'll we'll roam around here, going for the smaller ones, and this one until we wait for units to get over to these places. Discover a personality trait of Inessa. Oh, Inessa has given a statement that made us discover one of her personality traits. She's a pacifist. First dealing with players with low combat ranking and players with a high reputation. Dislikes players that have defeated other players. Very nice. So She'll be peaceful as long as we stay peaceful. Which is definitely good. Which is a good thing. Oh look, an energy stash. But we want to get to the source. So yeah, I mean, nothing speaks against it. Just let's... Hey, ah. Hmm, these reefs, they are, they are tr treacherous, these opponents here. We'll wait a little bit until next round. Mm, and we'll have to wait here for a bit, I think. I'm actually not sure. I think we should wait here still. Seer's advice. Oh, what are we doing? So what do we need to do? We need to brew the elixir. Access quest operations performed on a colony hex. Go to colony center tab in the colony interface. All right, so we need to be here. Ah, uh, structure, sector, unit. Here we go, and we can brew the elixir. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Rascal's Laboratory. Five flasks stand ready at the experimental table. Flask one contains green powder. Flask two has blue gooey liquid inside. Flask three contains pink liquid. It is labeled as neurotoxic. Flask four glows red with luminescent lotion. Flask five encloses a powder black as cosmite. Rascal's instructions say the following. The pink liquid evaporates. If it can't react with an other agent, the blue liquid needs to be added before the green powder. But after the red liquid, no two liquids may be added directly after another. Mm. So red liquid, blue liquid, green liquid, green, red, blue, green would be uh, the order that we have from the second one. The pink one evaporates if it can't react with another agent, which means it cannot be the first one you add. Um, red, blue, green. Red, blue, green, and so we can... Before the green powder, ooh. The pink liquid evaporates, so the pink um, needs to be not the first. So I think the red or the cosmite one needs to be the first. So both the green fl flask and the blue flask would be bad. <laughs> Mm, 
because at, we would have at least the red liquid first. So we can go for for red red first or for the black flask first. <coughs> Do we want to finish with the Cosmite? Mm, I don't know. Does it make a difference after the red liquid? Red is a lotion. So I guess we can start with the Cosmite, then add the red liquid to it. And then the blue one or the pink one. Red Yeah, we can we can start with a with a with a cosmite, I think. Ah. Uh, oh my god goodness now it's away. But now we had to use red, blue, green, if I remember right. Blue, green, pink. The substance you brewed together violently erupts and bursts in flames. After leaping into cover and sitting out the reaction, you find there's nothing left inside the cauldron except grime and a small of charred skin. I will try again next turn. Oh, we have a high risk battle here. Can we abort this? We want to abort this. We don't want to go there. Wait here then. Now let's try this again. Nerim Library. At first we must manage Nerim Library. We have two more places here. One and gives us positive happiness again thankfully yeah then we have the other things let's go back to the colony center here let's brew the elixir <laughs> goodness me <sighs> yeah yeah if I were totally youtuber I would look it up and then have some genius <laughs> intuitions but <laughs> yeah as it as it goes you'll have to suffer with me here so um the blue liquid needs to be added before the green quarter after the red liquid so it's it's still it's red blue green that's definitely what we need to do no two liquids may be added directly after another ah so red blue green is wrong Ah, that was it. That's what I didn't think of. Um, so, no two liquids. So we have to have the pink liquid uh, somewhere in between. After the green powder, for example. So we have red liquid, then we need something in between. But not a liquid. Red, mm. ah, now flux four is this luminescent lotion. So what? What's liquids? We have two powders. That's cosmite and green powder, and we have three liquids. So we have to start with a liquid, which means we have the red liquid. The green powder needs to be... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we have to start with a liquid. The green powder needs to be after the blue liquid. So we have red liquid. I have to write this down. My goodness. 
If red liquid, that's what we have to start with, then we'll use the Cosmite, I think, as there's nothing else correct. Then we'll go for the blue liquid, then the green powder. Red is liquid, blue is liquid, green is powder, and then we'll have air were pink liquid so uh, show other options yeah let's start with the red flask and then we'll go for the black flask then we'll go for the blue flask then we'll go for the green flask and finally the pink flask the mixture inside the cauldron changes color varies times until it glistens in all the tinted shades of the rainbow much like soap bubbles surprisingly enough everything inside the lab survived your experimentation rascal the seer you finished the elixir impressive yeah if we had had read all of your instructions it would have been even better i have seen many brave paladins fail and quail in the light of a simple laboratory task in the meantime two of our scryers have been modified to spread the elixir at the right location and time. Now the only thing left to do is sit back and watch. Oh god, that can only go wrong. Objective completed. Very nice. Uh, we can go for the gluttony ethos. <laughs> yeah, the, the offensive mod. That's gonna be nice. So let's take the reward here. Um, growing unhappiness. Event in colony. Yeah, but no longer, thankfully. And then we have, yeah, we have the botanical gardens here. Production ready. More botanical gardens and the military Production infrastructure. Ready. Good, we have confirming movement here. Yeah, we should go for, for this conflict. That's going to be a very hard conflict. That needs to be focused. And I'm really unsure if we should take this. Actually, I'm sure we should not take this because we want to do... The locate the source stuff and that's gonna be extremely dangerous so let's let's just go I don't know here maybe here need to move in unison maybe there's something not so dangerous here as far as it is possible and you <laughs> Yeah, you'll wait one turn before we both leave over there. <laughs> Spraying elixir assemblies curves at all programmed locations. Send particle density in the area is reaching the critical threshold. Boom. Mellow vibrations, that says the sci-fish. Delicious sounds of wide energy slopping over the cosmic shores. Cuckoo here and eat a short walk and we can satiate more. Aluna, shoals of psi fish are emerging from the void barrier, swarming over the assembly colonies. It seems they've been attracted by the substance we've been brewing together. If our elixir was their appetizer, the assembly are now their main dish with a severe blow against our enemy. Very nice. Thorns and stingers. Oh goodness. The growth attacks again. Our oppression will not be tolerated. Yeah, I know. I know. Ah, so we're here again. My goodness me. That's an attacking army. We'll we'll have to we'll have to run back there as quickly as we can. Go to the library of yesteryear, my friends. There's no time to waste. There's only haste. Their master can annex another sector. Very nice. Let's see. Let's pick. We don't want this. That's a terrible sector. But this, the millstone catacomb, maybe. You have the D really power plant there that will help us. Mm. We have a river. We have fertile plains. We have fungal growth. Nice. With residential development. Nothing motivates productivity in a population more than mortgages. 
The lure of property ownership inspires an individual's the motivation to perpetually improve their property value and provides an illusion of privacy. Phineas Shaker, Colony Financier. Oh goodness me, but we have the Colony District buildings now. An oathbound specialist center where colonists can be trained and work as chroniclers. The structure can later be upgraded after annexing residential exploitation sectors to the colony. Very nice. One level to all residential sectors. Now, let's see. Uh, dawn of a new union. Mm, the planetary unification. Uh, awaken the planet core and petition for the status of planetary unifier. The start a timer that can end the game. Yeah, we want we want that thing. Now, we've got these. Let's go further. Oh, what, what did we do here? We've set fire to the forest. I didn't want that. I just clicked because I wanted to select the other <sighs> killing a few of the mycelians as the flames spread but then the rest of the fungi retreated into the heart of the forest and released a spore cloud which protected them from the fire the spores are now polluting the entire area so it's like this part of the plant didn't work out so well ah because I misclicked let's see if we can contain this new health hazard before it starts to spread objective completed oh no no, 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 no. Locate the source. We'll take the reward. Okay, we'll destroy us. Destroy the source. We've, we we did that. We rooted out the source. Uh, mycelian growth cl cluster needs to be destroyed. Entopathogenic mycelia is what we get. Oh, goodness me. That was so terrible. We didn't... We wouldn't have to... We wouldn't have done it if we... If we just knew... How good are they? They are... Uh, they are terrifying. Our corpens can be neutralized using dissipation channels. If you can create a conductive circuit around the target, all that energy passes harmlessly around the protected structure. A lightning rod for an individual. Very nice. proton. So what can we do? We can only we can only hope for penance. <laughs> and we can maybe upgrade our people. Let's see. The Paladin Wardens. They need something. Something for defense, maybe. Because they are really under pressure. Mm. Um, Grand Saloon, it last stand. Once per combat. Yeah, I think that's good. Battle Pattern Analyzer. Detection and a plus, sen plus two sensor range. Arc Retaliation. St statically charged, getting two resistance. No, I think we want something different. The Oath of Loyalty, up to a maximum of two. Tenets of Tranquility, immune to the moral effects, but we can boost our moral, so we don't need that. Entropic Radiation Emitter, mm, no. Battle Pattern Analyzer seems still good. Oath of Purity, Damage Over Time Immunity, oh yes. <laughs> the battle pattern analyzer is pretty good mod equivalent units will do that so we have them there the paladin light bringer the aspirants let's see what we can add to the aspirants uh, we want something, yeah, the Oath of devo de Devotion is definitely good. And that is also good. Let's see, Tenets of Tranquility. I mean, they will get something, so they'll get the defense. Yeah, we just need to invest everything if we can. What do we have in the others? Mm, the Augur and the Watcher. I mean, we've still got resources left, so... We need to do what we can there. I still think the Oath of Purity is pretty good. Mm, battle Pattern and Analyzer is good. And what is that? Entropic Decomposer. 
Ten percent. Yeah, I think that's good. And we've got this guy, the Augur. Loyalty, Oath of Purity, Oath of Loyalty. Uh, battle Pattern Analyzer. Let's just hope we're good here. And now this Lightbringer. It's something. The Oath of Devotion. Can we afford this? I hope so. Purity and loyalty? I don't know. I mean, that would be pretty great all in all. So let's do that. Very pure. Very oathful. We've got him ready. Let's pray. Let's pray. Complete the technologist. Very nice. Ooh. Here we go. There's some combat in progress. Ooh. They're coming to attack. Oh, they're together with the Timur guy. Oh my goodness me. Calm expands. Yeah, we have to go for manual combat. We'll lose this battle, but nothing else we can do. Maybe we don't have to lose it. I don't know. It's pretty tough, though. Definitely have to go forward as much as we can. Can we reach? No. Uh, let's just... We want the protector here first, so we'll send the protector here. And actually protect Paladin Warden. Far can this go? Not far enough. Watch your militia. Mm. Paladin protector. Protect them all. The diviner. Our diviner can wait here. And we have our Paladin Champion. That's our secret hope, really. Or maybe the not-so-secret hope. That's our hope. They're incoming. We need to get to these as quickly as we can. This bunch of beings is gonna be... a nightmare. They've stopped there, so they don't get the Overwatch attack. <laughs> Have you seen that? Crazy good. I like this AI. Oh, Operations ready. now it really gets going. Let's, let's see, let's see. I'll move forward here, let's do that. 35, 45, no line of sight. Mm -hmm. Can we do something here? Momentary insight. Arc manifold, arc discharge. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not so much, not so much. It's that thing. Mm. Move into position. We can affect these two. Let's do that. The Warden's Banner. We've got the Paladin Protector incoming. We'll protect. Uh, we've got the others, the Militia Unit. Mm. 
The Watcher. And Tropic Leash. Yeah, well, that's terrible. Still, we want to try. We've got the Paladin Champion. That's got to move behind us. Shields and the Diviner have to come in. What's the best choice? I guess this one. We've got the operations ready. Let's check again. Isomer. All friendly units gain status effect resistance. So the terrors are incoming. Ah. Hardened sapling cannon. Now we're bereaved of our cover. No. Stop them. Ow. A lot of resists. Let's hope this is enough. Goodness me! Well, the aspirants will die. Whoa. That's a little too much. No, don't kill the poor aspirant! Woo! <laughs> no, don't kill him! No, he must live, not die. He actually lived. <laughs> oh yeah, that was because of the mod? No, not because of the mod. Embolden could could work with us here. Definitely good. No. No. The Diviner Militia Unit. Not your time. Heal target friendly unit for 40. For 40. Hmm. Or heal dead unit. Curse of inevitability, gift of foresight. And this entropic storm, we could blast it with entropy. I think we'll just heal this guy here. Great stuff. Mm. Yeah, we still got the Paladin. I still think the Paladin should charge in somewhere here, right? Jump to target hex and discharge an incredible surge of electricity in a one hex radius and stagger the units. Like, uh, I don't know, here? Is that good? That's good. Should do it like this. So what we can do now is go for the indomitable champion defense. That's what we'll do. Now we have the militia. Militia can attack this thing. Oh, come on, 60%. Yeah, I know it's a 40% miss chance. I know it. Uh, can take this thing out. We probably should. Enemy destroyed. Diviners ready. Got that worker bee here. The 
Paladin Protector. But we've healed something already. We could go over here with a Volt Saber. Mm. Got the Watcher ready. Entropic Lash. So it was an 80%. I mean, it's terrible, but it's the best we have. Gift of Providence. Um, Lash of Adversity, Gift of Providence. We could give the Gift of Providence to this guy here. And then he can go and, I don't know, attack here. That's too far, but that's okay. But we would get an overwatch then. Nah. Not great. I think we'll just protect our allies for now. End the turn. Hopefully it gets better now. Ow. Ooh. Wow, that is terrible. Unit lost. And terrifying. They're eliminating us. It's not good. Not good at all. Yeah, overwatch it. Oh my goodness me. <sighs> Terrible. <laughs> That's just too much. But I mean, it did a lot of damage. I have to tell that. Uh, but it's gonna go down. Unit it's gonna down. go down. Wow. So much for this, eh? But it was the best chance we had, I think. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was a foolish move. Volt sabering this thing. Why not? Why not a Volt Sabering at the Protector Shield? I mean, this guy could still... could still embolden. Overwatch triggered, but it doesn't do anything. Vault this thing, staggering. Vault this thing, not staggering. Vault this thing. Hmm. And we need to get rid of that thing. Yeah, that's the first. That would overwatch. So we need to get rid of it pretty, pretty nicely from a distance, maybe. And Tropic Lash. Eight. Ooh, we're so bad. We're such in such deep trouble. It's crazy. What buffs can we? Lash of adversity, making all of its attacks fumble. Oh, I don't know. Let's give that over to this thing. And the others here. Now let's see. I mean, it seems okay. Vault Great Bow on this. Which should kill it. Let's try. Enemy killed. Good. Good things. Gift of Foresight. Strike of Precognition. Mm. I mean, that would be pretty much okay. 
taking that one thing down here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll all go down. Why prolong the inevitable? Uh, but this is a guaranteed kill. We need to do it. Because if we want to stop this Enemy army, destroyed. we need to go for kills, kills, kills. <clears throat> guaranteed kills. Ow. Ow. Wow, this seems terrible. Really terrible. Yeah. Going for it. How they're focusing. I can only commend them. Does it have the last stance? Stand? It must be... It should have been dead already. Uh, destroyed. It doesn't. All right. Well, I guess this was it then. <laughs> Some new pustule. I don't like this at all. Unit destroyed. An infectious bite. Mm, target cannot be affected. Target cannot be affected. Ah, because we've picked someone else. The Warden Militia Unit. We'll have the Warden's Banner here. Overwatch triggered. Yeah, it's the infectious bite. I know. What do we have here. And someone up there. Eh. Eh. Next unit. Which unit is that? Whoo! No, we need this unit here. Uh, this unit. This. This one here. At least that is good. And we have the Entropic Lash on three or on these. But we need to concentrate on the ones that are among us. This thing could go down, this thing could go down. Yeah, let's let's eliminate what we can. Here we go. As the Oracle foretold. One less. We'll all go down, but let's take some with us. A brave sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? I mean we just went down, that's they all. Shall be honored. Ow. They shall be honored. Freaking life drainers. Ah. Uh, uh, missed the last one, really? Well. Our forces have been defeated. It is over. It's over. The Growth Faction War. War is broken out with the Growth. They have many enemies on this planet who would reward us for their annihilation. Perhaps we can find something of value amongst their dead. I've handed over samples from the defeated Growth to our research department. Ten of, ten of ten, yeah, ah, yeah, take a reward. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next, in the next episode. We'll try to stop that attack of the growth. At least there's only six left. <laughs> A great time until then and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon. Happy gaming.